There are a lot of reasons to migrate to a new Synology NAS. Whether you're looking to store more data, run more packages, get new features, or even replace a malfunctioning system, most migrations are easy to accomplish. In this video, we'll walk through a typical migration procedure and address non-typical migrations too. Before conducting a system migration, be sure to take care of the following two items. Make sure that you have a current and verified backup of your data. The chances of something going wrong are low, but it's always important to retain multiple copies of your important files. Update Disk Station Manager on your current Synology NAS to the latest version. You can do this in Control Panel, Update and Restore. If you already have the latest version, you'll get a message that your DSM version is up to date. If you plan to add more disks to the system you'll be migrating to, just keep them close by for now. They'll be installed after migration is complete. If you plan to upgrade from a single base Synology NAS to a device with more bays, click the annotation to skip ahead. First, I'll go over migration from a two-bay or larger device to a device with the same number of bays or a greater number of bays. In this example, we'll use a DS713 Plus to a DS415 Plus. I've already made the preparations mentioned earlier, so now I'm ready to power off the DS713 Plus. With the device powered off, transfer the disks from the original device to the new one. You can install the disks in any order in the new system. With the original set of disks secure in the DS415 Plus, power it up. Once the blue power LED is no longer flashing, search for it using find.synology.com. From this point, a wizard will begin. You'll have the option to start with a fresh DSM configuration and files if you want, but otherwise you can choose to keep your files and most of the settings. Rarely, in some migrations, you may be required to start with a clean install, in which case you will need to refer to your backups. The wizard will then install the correct system files for your new device and make necessary settings adjustments. Once you're in Disk Station Manager, the core of the migration procedure is complete. At this point, you can install additional disks, run an extended smart test to check their health, and expand your volume or create a new one. Upgrading from a single base Synology NAS to a device with more bays is more complex. Without getting too technical, the way the disk is set up on a single base Synology NAS is different from a multi-base Synology NAS which prevents the use of the previous migration procedure without starting fresh and needing to restore your data from a backup. However, there are a couple additional ways to transition to the larger NAS while retaining your data. If you're getting a larger system, chances are that you've purchased more disks as well. One way to migrate is by performing initial setup of your new NAS with one or more of your new disks, which then opens up a couple of migration options. The recommended option is to keep your original single bay NAS running then configure a shared folder sync to the new system to copy the data over the network. After verifying the data copied correctly, you can shut down the original single bay NAS and move its disk to the new NAS while the new NAS is still powered on. At that point, you can either add it to the existing volume or create a new volume with it. The other option that we'll say is less than ideal is that you could also plug the disk from your original NAS into a USB dock, then attach the USB dock to the new NAS. The disk in the USB dock will appear as a folder called USB Share 1 with your original shared folders inside, which can then be copied to your new NAS. In this last portion of the video, we'll go over some common and less common questions that have arisen in the past with regards to migration. Question 1. I have a disk that I used inside a different brand of NAS. Can I just install it and still have all of my data there? If not, why not? The simple answer is no. The simple reason is that a Synology NAS will not mount or make available disks that it did not format internally. Your Synology NAS will also not mount disks that are formatted internally if they've been removed or ejected while the NAS is on. This isn't to say that it isn't technically possible to mount other disks, but the only supported way to do this would be with a USB dock for a non-RAID disk, providing the disk is in a compatible format. Question 2. I've migrated my disks to the new NAS, but during the software portion of the migration, my NAS is telling me that all my files will be removed. What do I do? You should have that backup of your data on hand to restore from that was mentioned earlier in the video. However, if for some reason that isn't an option, you no longer have your original device to put the disks back into, and you need to not lose data during the migration, stop the procedure, then contact support. Question 3. Is it okay to migrate from a device with an expansion unit to a single chassis? For example, a DS713 Plus with a DX513 to a DS1815 Plus. The answer is yes, this will work. However, there are exceptions, like going from a system with a Synology Hybrid RAID configuration to a device that does not support Synology Hybrid RAID, such as many units in the XS and XS Plus series of Synology NAS. 
Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos.